booties, yeah. keeping their feet as warm as possible and for such frigid temperatures. You had me at husky. So risky. <laughs> oh. Risky. Richie. But risky Richie. <laughs> That's a new one. Those were my younger days. I was thinking you said <laughs> we might get a little snow early in the week. Next week, next week, there's a chance we could see some snow. Don't get too excited yet. It's still five days away, but models have been converging on seeing some colder air, not like what we're seeing in the Midwest. Just want to underscore that. Northwest cold, which, you know, if you have to put a jacket on this time of year. So, because it has been that, boy, the afternoons are just absolutely beautiful out, though. If you're in the shade and the breeze, uh, you do know that it's still winter out there. It's a little chilly, but, boy, we have another sunny day headed our way. 54 degrees out at SeaTac yesterday. Amazing day overall. Quiet morning out there to start off with. Uh, we have mostly clear skies. There might be a couple patches of fog or low clouds, but there won't be very many of them around this morning. And no backups on the departure deck. Pretty quiet morning out there. Of course, we have to look at what's going on back in the Midwest. Just amazing. One of the school net sites, this is in White Bear Lake in Minnesota this morning. It just looks cold looking at that. And if we look at the uh, readout from there, they have a wind chill of about minus 34 there. These are some of the coldest spots. There, Grand Forks Air Force Base up there in the northern portion of North Dakota. Wind chill of minus 54 this morning there in Munich, which is uh, up to the, a little bit to the north of Bismarck. Minus 47 wind chill. And then uh, University of Jamestown there in North Dakota as well at minus 29. Some really, really cold and dangerously cold temperatures. Closer to home, much warmer. Cold for the northwest this morning, relatively. Temperatures anywhere from the upper 20s, the low to mid 30s, most spots. Clear skies overnight contributed to that and gave things a chance to cool down. Teens and 20s over there east of the Cascades with some single digits there along the eastern border. Deer Park, our traditionally coldest spot in the state, officially is uh, showing 9 degrees this morning. This, uh, the computer model this morning is showing a few clouds around, but not really seeing those. Might see a couple form here in the next few hours. Basically, just some high clouds drifting through once in a while, it looks like, on into tomorrow. And then we will see that rain move in as we head towards Thursday night. Should be kind of a wet day on Friday. And then as we head into the weekend, Saturday, not many showers around. A cold front's going to move through on Sunday. And behind that, we could see snow levels dropping down to sea level or close to it as we head towards late Sunday night on into Monday morning. And so we might see a little bit of lowland snow around. We'll keep close watching that. It's in cool next week, but then it dries out as we head towards the middle part of the week. Shorter term, though, mostly sunny today. Highs, upper 40s and low to mid 50s. Increasing clouds tomorrow with rain moving in late. We'll look for uh, rain turning to showers on Friday. Partly sunny, just a couple showers uh, for all the festivities on Saturday, but it does turn wet Sunday. Turns to showers late. Chance of some rain or snow showers late Sunday night on into Monday, but then drying out, but cool as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday. Right. Changes on the way. Thank you, Rich.